everyone, this is Sam for developerbackpack.com. Submitting form URL encoded data is a common requirement when building web applications, especially with ASP.NET Web API, or even more so when you're using Web API to facilitate your existing web applications. So let's take a deep dive into how this actually works and how your uh, Web API endpoints can accept this form URL encoded data. To begin with, let's take a look at the form that we'll be posting data from. If you look at the very first line in the form element, inside we have a couple of attributes which we set. We set the method attribute to post, the action which points to our endpoint in our web API, and then the ENC type, which is the attribute which denotes how the data is going to be encoded and passed over to our endpoint. This particular one sets the MIME type, um, which has the format type and then subtype to be application and then x www dot, uh, dash form URL encoded. Now what this means is that once we post this data, it is going to encode all of the spaces to, um, I think, plus signs and all of the other characters which will be URL encoded as well. So other elements in this uh, form are the name input and then you have email and then we have a radio button so it's a really simple form uh, we also have the option to post via JavaScript um, and it's I'm not gonna go over this it's super simple so let's take a look at building our endpoint and see how we can manipulate this data once it comes over the wire right so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a users model and what this model will do is that it will map to the fields which will be posted back. So I'm just going to copy and paste the fields here. Very simple. So we have name, email, and gender. Now next we're going to create the actual endpoints in our user's control. So <clears throat> the class here I have um, implements or inherits from the API control class. Uh, I have a simple endpoint. In, the first approach is basically going to use the inbuilt model binding that Web API provides. So my route here um, accepts a user model. Let me just uh, fix this reference here. All right. And what this will do basically is that when we post to this endpoint, it is go uh, the inbuilt framework is going to use a media type formatter called the form URL encoded um, formatter to translate or to convert the posted data into this user's model. Uh, once that is done, we will just return this um, back and we'll see that in the browser. All right, so I've set a breakpoint here on line 14. And when we post the registration form to this endpoint, we will see that the framework will convert this um, the posted data into this model using the model binding feature in Web API 2. All right, so I have some pre-populated data in my form, Sam, fake email, Brian at developerbackpack.com. And I intentionally have the Chrome window open so we can take a look at the request. I'm going to hit um, submit. Uh, what you will see here is that now um, the data was posted. Uh, it was intercepted by the hosting layer and the media type formatter translated the payload into this strongly typed model. So email, gender, and name. Let's go back to Chrome and take a look at the actual post. So here's the form data just before it is sent to uh, the API endpoint and <clears throat> this is the encoded view so you can see that the at symbol is encoded to percentage 40 uh, and this would be the raw values which will be in, um, intercepted by uh, Web API 2. So I want to show you a second approach to capturing HTML form URL encoded data which is posted from a form into Web API. The first approach is pretty easy because the framework basically handles everything. All you need to do is create that strongly typed model and then Web API does the rest. But what if you actually want to get um, 
you know the actual raw values from the HTTP request so I'm gonna paste some code in here all right <clears throat> so in this case instead of the strongly typed users model we have the form data collection and all this does is basically represent the collection of the form data so that when we post the um, the, the payload from the form uh, the framework will actually convert all of that data um, into this form data collection and then you can use um, the uh, this notation to get to the individual values so let's set another breakpoint and try and see uh, what this will give us so we'll do the same thing we'll submit this data sam brian at developerbackpack.com click submit so let's take a look and see if our model here is actually being populated with the information and as you can see there you go so what's the difference between using the uh, model binding that comes with web api and this method well in, in some cases it makes sense to use this form data collection if you do not want to create a strongly typed model um, to to basically do the transformation over there um, you know there might be some instances where you just you maybe it's just an ID it's a session ID that you want to uh, quickly just generate it doesn't make sense to create a whole model just for that so you can use this method in those specific instances thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe